I'm Peter Block at TCT 2019 in San Francisco for ACC.org. On my left is David Wood from Vancouver, and David has been part of the complete trial. So let me just do a quick intro as to what all this is, David, because for years we have struggled with the question, in an acute myocardial infarction, should we just do culprit lesions or should we do culprit lesions in anything else we see at the index hospitalization and on and on. Nobody really knows what we ought to do after the uh, culprit lesion is fixed. So complete faced this and was presented at ESC. So quickly tell me the results of the complete trial and then we'll talk about the timing issue. I think that's great, Peter. So the complete trial presented at ESC, uh, published in New England Journal of Medicine, basically showed not doing it during the index procedure, so not at two in the morning when you come in to open up the vessel, but between one and 45 days later, whether you did it in hospital and the median was one day, uh, or after discharge, the median was 23 days, you could significantly reduce cardiovascular death and MI. So the short version of complete, uh, now that it's out there, was you got to, if you do complete revascularization, patients are driven. This is also a long-term trial, wasn't it? Relatively long-term. Absolutely. So the median follow-up was three years, but we had patients out to five years. Okay. So no question now. We can say absolutely the paradigm, I hate the word, has changed. We should try and fix everybody's lesions if we can. Absolutely. We expect now, that the, the guidelines will change based on this kind okay. of... So should they be all FFR lesions that are in fact ischemic producing, producing or not? This is what was so powerful about complete. This was visual angiographic stenosis. This is what we're all used to doing. You do an angiogram at um, two in the morning, you see a 70% stenosis or greater, and then you bring them back to do it between one and 45 and you days. you don't later. have to FFR. Them. FFR was less than 1% in our trial. Okay, so let's go to the timing issue because the second question here is now that we know everybody ought to get fixed, uh, and surgeons have known this for a long time, <laughs> haven't they, basically? The more you can uh, bypass, the better you are. But the short version of the question is, in your trial, it was sort of all within 45 days. So break that down for me and tell the folks out there exactly what they should do going forward. So this was the late breaker today, is basically we said to the investigators, after you did the culprit lesion, tell us, would you do the intended revascularization during the index hospitalization, median one day, or would you do it after discharge, median 23 days? They then were randomized, so they were stratified before they were randomized, and then we just basically looked. What were the difference between whether they got repeat revascularization within the index hospitalization or after discharge? And amazingly, whether you did it in hospital or whether you did it after discharge, you still accrued the same benefit. Okay, and just to remind everybody, some of these patients were randomized to ongoing medical therapy and did not get a second intervention incomplete, correct? Absolutely, so 50%, 2,000 patients were culprit only, just medical therapy for the non-culprits, 2,000 were complete revascularization. And the ones that had uh, culprit only did not do as well, just to remind everybody about that. Absolutely. There's a 26% hazard ratio reduction for death NMI and an almost 50% hazard ratio reduction for death MI and ischemia-driven revask. The other key point was for complete revask, greater than 90% of these patients had a residual syntax score of zero, so we truly changed their natural history. Okay. So... Hopefully not, but uh, you're just having, you're going to drop now with a STEMI and I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen, David. Thank you. So, so uh, now you were in the cath lab and I find, uh, you know, a proximal LED lesion that I open up and you feel all of a sudden terrific and yep. say, gosh, that was great. Thank you so much. And uh, I say, well, you know, you've got a 70% circ marginal and you've got a little distal right there in the PDA that I ought to fix. When should I do that? Should I do that right now? Do I really have a choice to 45 days? It sounds like I have a choice, but there's no reason not to go ahead if you feel great and I've only used 30 cc's of contrast, right? This is what's so powerful about complete. We did not look at the index procedure. Our hypothesis was that we weren't going to do it during the index. We thought a stage procedure made more sense both for patients and for the treating facility. So what we now can say to you is we don't know about the index procedure, but if you bring that patient back between one and 45 days, you get significant benefit for CV death and MI, and more importantly, there is no safety signal that you're gonna cause harm whether you wait or you do it early. So you and I have to have a conversation about choice of when we do this before 45 days. Exactly. Sounds like a plan, David. That's a wonderful trial. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.